it's very easy to go through this fast-paced world as if we're on a wild horse <laughs> being dragged from one thing to the next, going through our days from one thing to another until we finally get home, we have enough time to just wind down a little bit, go to bed, and the next day we repeat everything all over again. Going through this, or days like this, I'm not saying that it's necessarily a negative. However, if we continue just letting ourselves be led by different things that push us in different directions and routines and what have you, we'll always just be caught in this craziness, never having a break for ourselves. And it kind of puts us in a passenger seat as if someone else is driving and we don't have control over our own lives. And it doesn't leave room for any spontaneity or, you know, give us a little bit of time to sit back and reflect. So while there are certain things what, that we do need to take care of, we also need to make some time to really sit down, think about what it is. Perhaps using the car metaphor, we could pull over and get out of the car or take a minute to just really think about, are we in the place that we want to be? Where do we want to go if that's not where we are? How do we want to get there? Perhaps we want to think of some steps to take. Just get our mind, wrap our minds around it and see what it is that would make us happy, that would make us more um, productive, perhaps, that would give a little, um, give a little spring to our steps, if you will. And by doing that, we actually put ourselves back into the driver's seats. Look, life is too short to just let ourselves be led without ever giving it a thought of what it is that might appeal to us. We could always have things that can help us feel more at peace or you know, connected with joy or relaxation or whatever. We owe that to ourselves to actually take the time to find out, to really think about maybe resetting things for ourselves. Maybe we're at a crossroads. Okay, which way do I go? What do I do? What do I want to do? So my invitation to you is to think about where you are with respect to this picture. Are you one of those who's on the passenger seat? How does that make you feel if you are? And if you're already the driver, well, good for you. But this is for those who don't really feel like they are exerting any control over their own lives, whether they haven't thought about it or they haven't been able to. It's worth to take the time to actually think about that and to actually find out, you know, what it is that might make you tick. And if you are the driver, do you like the direction you're going? Is this the direction you're meant to go? Again, a little bit food for thought. I will see you next time. Feel free to share this. Namaste.